Greetings. I'm Curtis Kruger. I'm the exhibit chair with the Cape Fear Camera Club, and we're talking here today with Phil Perry, who happens to be the president of the Cape Fear Camera Club. And Phil, I know you have uh, a piece uh, in the exhibit we're having right now called the IOD. And I'm sure lots of people don't quite understand what that means. Could you uh, explain the history of the IOD for us? Be glad to, Curtis. Thank you. Uh, IOD is Images of Distinction, and uh, the Cape Fear Camera Club has six competitions during the year, and two are print, four are projected images on a screen. And during those competitions, we have an outside judge to look at all of the images, uh, award points, and the top 20% receive a ribbon red, blue, or gold, gold being the, the best of the category. And then at the end of the year, all of the images that won a ribbon, red, blue, or gold, in those six competitions go into a year-end competition. And the winners there are the images of distinction. And the judge picks 20 to 25% of those and uh, so basically images of distinction are truly our best and uh, we've enjoyed the IOD exhibit over the years. The, the members print uh, and then we find a venue in town which Curtis found a great one this year and we exhibit those photos. Great and our judges are uh, from outside the club right so they're truly uh, non-partial. Correct. Great. Well, I guess the uh, first thing I want to ask you is uh, <clears throat> how did you even get involved with photography in the first place? Well, good question that uh, <clears throat> sometimes I kind of ask myself that question and I'm not 100% sure of the answer. Uh, <laughs> my, my dad had an old Argus range finder and uh, I would play with that, take some pictures in high school. And then uh, when I got to college, um, roommate and I really kind of got into it and we bought SLRs uh, used and started taking pictures. And, but we were more photojournalists. And it wasn't until I joined the Cape Fear Camera Club about seven years ago that I really learned the art of photography and learned uh, design and, and, and so much more. Right. Uh, um, I heard the rumors you're a Nikon man. Is that true? <laughs> uh, that is true. Uh, Curtis is a Nikon shooter. It, we have some uh, friendly banter back and forth, primarily with Canon shooters. Uh, but uh, I heard uh, a couple of photographers years ago say this, and I really do believe it. Uh, the most important piece of equipment that you can have is that piece of equipment between your ears. So yeah. it doesn't matter if it's Canon or Nikon or Sony or Olympus. Uh, there's lots of good uh, cameras out there. But yeah. obviously, I believe Nikon has a great system. And, and I like to use the word system in that there are some cameras, manufacturers out there that don't have a, uh, a complete line of uh, lenses and, and accessories. Great. Now we're going to show your image here shortly. Uh, it, it's an Osprey in the nest. Can you tell us a little bit more about it, how you took that image? Yes, this is an image I took uh, just over two years ago uh, in uh, the Everglades of Florida. And um, my old college roommate uh, has an annual bird trek to Florida. And this one was in the Everglades. Great place for bird photography all over Florida, but particularly the Everglades. And I was lucky that I found an osprey nest that was relatively low and not too far away. I still had to use a 400 millimeter lens and I still heavily cropped it. But uh, I like to say I kind of have a bird's eye view and it's one of the parents and uh, four juvenile osprey in the nest. Nice. Very Just well done. Unusual. Never captured anything quite like this. Right. 
Now, aside from your duties as president of the club, what do you enjoy about being a member of the Cape Fear Camera Club? Well, the, again, I said earlier that I've learned so much joining the camera club and I, I continue to learn. Uh, we've got 147 members. Uh, we have a lot of very talented uh, members, including Curtis Kruger. Uh, and 95% of the members uh, are very giving of their talent, their time, and their knowledge. So if you want to learn more about photography, um, a camera club and certainly the Cape Fear Camera Club is a great place to be. And our club, uh, I think is a little unique. And I say that when I travel around the country and talk to other people that are members of camera club, clubs and tell them about ours, they say, wow, that's really good. And uh, we offer so much. We have general meetings with outside speakers. We have six competitions a year. We have workshops with small groups. We have cafe sessions with even smaller groups, eight to 10 people. We have raw to ribbon sessions with eight to 10 people. And the raw to ribbons are uh, a, a uh, club member teaching how to use Photoshop for post-processing or using Lightroom for post-processing. We have field trips. Where as a group we go out now, we've only had one field trip since the COVID uh, situation, and that was in a big venue where we could really spread out. Uh, but we offer those that want to improve their skills and learn more through others. Um, it's all kinds of ways to to learn, and you get to choose what you want to do and how much time you want to spend uh, with the various things that we offer. That's great. Well, I really appreciate your time and all the efforts you do with the club, Phil. Uh, we can see this uh, images of distinction at the Intercoastal Realty uh, 228 North Front Street. It's up for uh, this month, I know for sure. We might extend it, that's the rumor. Um, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, again, Phil, thanks so much for your time. Well, Curtis, thank you. Uh, again, Curtis is our chairman of our exhibits, and uh, he spends a lot of time and, and effort at having first-class uh, exhibits, uh, a lot of behind-the-scenes work. Well, my pleasure. Thanks, Phil. Thank you.